Water is essential to all life and is very abundant. However, while 71% of the Earth's surface is covered by water, only 2.5% of it is fresh water, and less than 1% of the fresh water is usable or even accessible to humans. All of the water you use on a daily basis comes from a watershed. Therefore, having a foundational understanding of these ecosystems is valuable to healthy and sustainable water resources. Throughout the Stream Ecology and Monitoring course, you will learn about the principles of stream ecosystems and the importance of monitoring these areas. So what is a watershed? A watershed is an area of land that drains water, sediment, and dissolved materials to a common outlet at some point along a stream channel. We all live within a watershed, and although they may vary in size and location, it is important to understand the physical, chemical, biological, and ecological factors that make up a watershed. In this course, you will be introduced to mapping programs that have been designed to help scientists and natural resource managers conduct monitoring projects and restoration efforts within an ecosystem. Using Google Earth, you will learn how to design and build a map of a watershed. Precipitation is a vital component of the water cycle, and it is the ultimate source of all stream flow. We will introduce surface water dynamics and the relationship between precipitation and stream flow. The path precipitation takes after it falls to the earth affects the quantity, quality, and timing of stream flow. Humans have influenced and will continue to influence the health of watersheds. However, before we can understand how humans impact our waterways, we must understand the chemical and physical processes of streams. The Stream Ecology and Monitoring course will serve as an introduction to stream ecosystems and will empower students with the knowledge needed to become active and engaged environmental stewards within their own communities. You will learn about the ecological and biological properties of a watershed and how chemical and physical processes can influence these factors. Streams and watersheds are home to a wide range of flora and fauna, including macroinvertebrates, amphibians, birds, as well as aquatic and riparian vegetation. Many scientists and natural resource professionals use plants and animals like these as indicator species to assess watershed health. You will be introduced to these species and how their presence can influence management decisions. Students of the Stream Ecology and Monitoring course will be exposed to 10 of the most frequently used water quality monitoring techniques. These parameters, such as dissolved oxygen, pH, and stream flow, are measured by monitoring efforts across the United States. Through a virtual monitoring experience, you will learn how to calibrate and prepare equipment, conduct in-field studies, and record data properly. Additionally, you will gain valuable experience analyzing and interpreting data by using a real data set collected by the University of Wisconsin Green Bay and the Lower Fox River Watershed Monitoring Program. The data consists of all 10 water quality parameters. You will analyze the data set using the easy to operate statistical tools of Microsoft Excel, and then you will communicate your findings to your fellow students. As part of the comprehensive overview of stream ecology and monitoring, we will introduce the factors contributing to stream degradation and the role that human activity has on these ecosystems. 
you will be able to distinguish between point source and non-point sources of pollution. Identify the challenges that these sources present for natural resource managers and decision makers and understand the effects that these pollution sources have on both nature and society. You will be introduced to various restoration efforts and the processes in which these practices are put into place, including the policies and regulations that protect the health and integrity of our waterways. Properly managing watersheds requires a tremendous amount of cooperation among natural resource managers, elected officials, and local community members. You will work to identify efforts or potential efforts within your communities that will ultimately improve the health of your local watersheds. We look forward to working with you and exploring the amazing and dynamic nature of watershed science together.